who will win. The first X-Trial Granada to be held since 2008. Then. Here in the magnificent Palacio Municipal de Deporte. Jaime Busto then into the first of six sections this time. This first section is section one, the A-frames. This time they have to tackle it in both directions. Here goes Jaime Busto. There's that first obstacle that caused a few problems in round one. Now he has to drop to the floor and he's got to get over this near impossible twisted A-frames obstacle in both directions. He's up. And that's, I think, the first clear run we've seen of that obstacle. He's done it. Excellent from Jaime Busto. He clears the first half of that obstacle, if you like. Now he's got to tackle it in the other direction. Jaime Busto is up, and he's down. Five marks for Jaime Busto. Not the start he wanted to his grand final playoff. Now the tension begins to mount. What can Tony Bode? Applause for Jaime Busto, he tried his hardest, he was clean over the first direction of that uh, section one. That's the, di that's the direction they tackled this in in uh, round number one. Busto dropped one mark on that occasion. He's clean through that time. He was on course to be the first rider to clear section one in that uh, direction until it all went wrong on the return. Now, Tony Bow. He's got one minute to traverse this section one in both directions. Into the obstacle he goes. First bit's fairly simple for Tony Bow. Now, can he clear this jumbled pile of A-frames, you could call it? Here he goes. We'll drop a mark there for leaning, I think. Goes uh, into that first section. Yes, he's dropped one mark now. Can he get over it in the other direction? He's done it once already tonight. He did drop a mark on that occasion. Here he goes. He's up. He'll drop another mark there, but he's over it. That's the main thing. Now, the rest of the obstacle should be fairly straightforward for the observer in the background signaling two marks for Tony Burr. Still be three ahead if he keeps that score at the end of section one that's exactly what he does Tony Bow on two marks at the end of section one this fine can't afford to relax though into Ooh. section number two now this is uh, same as we saw in round two section two but with a twist this time, the riders are not allowed to touch that second octagonal block. They have to fly straight over the gap. Naimi Busto makes the leap of faith successfully. They have to go straight over that big leap onto that higher obstacle. Busto made it look easy then. Drops it down, he'll drop a mark for footing there, I think. In fact, he's dropped two marks for leaning and for footing. Ivy Busto over the final section, two marks his score, moves him on to seven. Now, can Tony Bow take this almost motocross style leap? It's the, uh, one of the biggest leaps you'll see in an X trial event. Ivy Busto retires to one side. But now, Tony Bow to make his effort, make his run up almost. You have to take a bit of a run up at this section off that ramp. Champ begins for Tony Bow. From the Spanish crowd, here he goes, flies up onto the obstacle. No problem at all on the Montesa Honda. Now he's just got to make it down. Won't want to drop any marks for footing. It's quite a heavy landing off this section. Does Bow make it? Yes, he does. Seen a few riders put their foot down on that uh, landing. But through comes Bow, and he's clean. That puts him ahead by five marks then. Two for Tony Bow, five, uh, seven rather for Jaime Busto. Wow. Now into section three. This is the crates, tackled in both directions. 
they still only have one minute to do so. This is a long section. We saw quite a bit of uh, time dropped on this in the earlier rounds. No problems so far for Jaime Busto. Steady there. I thought I saw something fall from his bike. There must be just a bit of trim. And Busto is gone. Comes off the machine on that second obstacle, and that's a five mark score. It's all going wrong for Jaime Busto. Two failures so far, and he's on 12 marks. All playing into the hands of Tony Bow in the first half of this grand final here at Extra Granada. So, uh, know from his form tonight that Tony Bow suffered a back injury just a couple of uh, rounds ago. The crowd really beginning to sense a 60th X trial victory for the incredible Tony Bow. Let's see what he can do with section three. Don't forget he's got to tackle this in the one minute time limit in both directions. Chant starts for Tony Bow once again. He's up the first section, no problem. have to drop onto that slanted crate once again. They can't just leap across the gap. Now, can he get further than Jaime Busto? Yes, he can. He leaps straight across there. Brilliant from Tony Bow. Straight over the gap. They are allowed to clear that gap. And Tony Bow just almost strode over that one as if it wasn't there. Now the return leg, they can enter front on this time rather than from the side. Tony oh, Bow's just making this look easy. As if they're planks of wood rather than crates. Flies over the gap in the reverse direction. That is perfection from Tony Bow. Absolutely brilliant, a joy to watch. He's ten marks ahead with that clean of Jaime Busto. And he can wrap up this extra with two sections to spare, I think. It's all coming down to section four now. It will be a repeat of the uh, second section from the, um, the consolation final, the blue modules. Jaime Busto will go first. And surely only three successive failures now can stop Tony Bow from winning. Busto has tried his hardest. The Mexican wave is heading around the stadium once again. The fans certainly loving the action tonight. We get ready then for section number four of this grand final. Jaime Busto ready and in position onto the blue cylinders. The section proves no problem. Gonna tackle it in both directions. It didn't prove too much of a problem this section for Benoit Binkaz and Adam Ragger. In fact, uh, they both clean this section. It shouldn't prove too much of an issue here either. We'll stow through the first half. It flips round on the front wheel. Straight back in again. Hasn't dropped any marks so far. Goes onto the turret. He's dropped a mark there for leaning. Can't really afford to drop any more marks in the whole of this final. One mark for Busto. He's onto 13. If Tony Bow cleans this, he has one extra Granada. If he drops a mark on this one, Tony Bow. He'll be on three marks, and if then Bo fails the last two sections and Busto cleans them, we go to a playoff. But you have to admit that is an unlikely scenario, given the way Tony Bo is riding tonight. Here he goes into section four. Keeping the front wheel in the air like a stunt ride. Absolutely brilliant to watch. No problems at all so far. This evening really has turned into a Tony Bow show here in Granada. 
sure the fans in Granada will want to see the next trial to come back in 2020. Bo into the second half of this section four. Ooh, a little bit of a wobble there. But Bo is going to go clean through the section and he wins. Next trial Granada 2019 with two sections to spare. Even two failures won't drop him behind Jaime Busto now. Bo totally dominant here this evening. Jaime Busto will try his hardest over the last two sections. Section number five, a slightly different entry point, I think, for uh, this one this time. That was initially the case, but it looks like perhaps not now. No, we're using the regular entry point. It's another both directions section we're tackling here, section five. It's not the entry point that's different, it's the uh, second element of the section. Apologies there. You have to drop onto the floor, then up onto an obstacle where it's very difficult to avoid dropping marks for leaning. He's dropped two there, Jaime Busto. He had to turn it sideways. You really have to turn it onto, on the back wheel only there, because it's such a narrow block. Busto two marks to his name so far on this section. Drops down and then back up again. He may have uh, possibly dropped another mark for leading there. Confirm that in a second. Oh, he's gone! Nasty fall there, that could have been. The bike nearly landing on Jaime Busto. That's a fail at 18 marks so far. Had to jump out of the way there to avoid the bike landing on him. Struggling anyway with section uh, number five. Slightly different elements to this section than we've seen in the earlier rounds. Same entry point, but then the riders have to drop off that first block onto the floor. And then make a very tricky turn to the right on a very narrow block. Slightly different as well. Onto the floor before riding onto the last block this time. So Bo heads into section five. He's up. Drops to the floor. Drop a mark for footing there. He landed a little heavily, more heavily than he intended. Now he's got to get onto this very narrow block to the side. Oh, he slips down again. Another mark drop for footing. He may have dropped two there, in fact, yes. Very tricky obstacle, that one. Matters not, though, because Bo's already secured victory with two sections to spare. Right out of the section, turns round for the reverse direction. Hasn't got a lot of time left to play with here. He rides so quickly under pressure, does Tony Bo. The most complete trials rider, the greatest trials rider in X trial history. Is he going to make it through the section? He does. He may have dropped a mark there at the end. Yes, I think that's a fail for Bo. It is. He dropped another mark at the end there. He was already on three. And that's a rare section failure for Tony Bo, but uh, as we've already said, it matters not as we head into the last section of this X trial Granada. Repeat of section four from the consolation final, but this time tackled in both directions. I may be stowed to go first. Three failures already for this map. Well, all of the uh, grand finals in the first three rounds of the year were very close, never more than four marks between the two rides involved, Tony Bow and Adam Braga every time, but a rather one-sided the final this time. Here goes Jaime Busto. Can he finish with a flourish? All good so far. For Jaime Busto. 
clean at the moment. Just be careful with the landing here. See riders drop marks for footy. No problem for Buster. And over the top. Clips it round very quickly. Time is uh, just about on his side. 30, 30 seconds to go now. Side of the highest obstacle, but he's gone. Minder has to catch the bike and Busto down, down heavily. And he finishes with a score of 23, including four failures. You can see he is uh, pretty upset with that Heidi Busto, a bit uh, battered and bruised as well. So quite a heavy fall there to end his lap. The bike looking a bit battered as well. No surprise at all there, the gas gas. Well, he's done well to make his first final of the season. Best results of the year for Jaime Busto's second place. Can Tony Bow finish his evening in style then? It's forward to section six. He goes up over the first A frame, no problem at all. The problem is that high block, and in particular the reverse direction. He's taking his time, he can afford to here. He can afford to fail the section, he's already won the X trial. That's not Tony Bowe's style. But he hops it round. It's the reverse direction. Are we going to see this section completed? I'm sure Bowe will do his uh, best to perform a flying leap over this tall obstacle to finish off with his trademark flourish. Takes his time, he's up and he's over over the final obstacles and the Tony Bow show is complete here in Granada. Absolutely brilliant, another clean to finish the lap and the most comprehensive victory of the year so far for Tony Bow, who takes his 60th ex-trial victory of his career. Quite stunning from Tony Bow. Confirmation of the final result then. Just the one failure for Tony Bow. Four cleans on his lap for seven marks. Jaime Busto struggling with four failures on his lap for a total of 23 marks. Great shame for Jaime, but he tried his, his hardest. He was excellent in the early rounds, even coming close to topping round one. Adam Raga will complete the podium. There is the Final classification, Bowen Busto, top of the pile. Raga in third place, an all-Spanish podium here in Granada. Benoit Bincas in fourth place. Jeroni Fajardo finishes fifth ahead of Mikel Gelabert. Jeroni Fajardo qualifying for the next round in Marseille in France in a few weeks' time. Gabriel Marcelli, Aniol Gelabert, the younger of the two brothers, and Sandre Haga eliminated in the first round. Well, some quite uh, brilliant and skillful riding on display once again here in Granada. That puts Tony Bow back in pole position for the World Championship as well, moving 13 points clear of Adam Raga. Jaime Busto pulling clear of Benoit Bincaz, who moves above Jeroni Fajardo into fourth place. And Bow certainly in pole position now for a 13th consecutive next trial World Championship. Mikel Gelabert trying to get his season back on track as well, moves into sixth position in the championship. Gabriel Marcelli up there in eighth place behind Jorge Casales, who was absent tonight. Attacking his uh, Fujinami, another absentee tonight, rounding out the top nine. Aniel Gelabert moves onto the table in 12th place overall. Sondre Haga, one place behind him.